Hi, welcome to another Max 7. This is tutorial number 17, MIDI Basic Effects. Right, so you may remember our last tutorial. We added this selector in here to allow us to choose our voices or instruments in MIDI. So I'm just going to lock the patcher and try it out a little bit here. And uh, let's put it on something nice, a uh, glockenspiel. Why not? Very nice glockenspiel. Spiel. And uh, maybe a brass section. All right. So you might be wondering, is there anything we can't do? The answer is no, there isn't. Um, so let's just continue on here and uh, try some simple changes. Is We noted before down here, these two objects, this 1, 127, and 1, 0, if we lock the patcher and you push 1, 127, that is the control change message to turn on uh, tremolo, I believe it's called. So let's try that. Oh, very clowny. And then if we hit the one zero, we're back to those much more distinguished and uh, uh, lovely horns. So let's make something that can control this. We'll need to send out a one and a hundred and twenty-seven and a one and a zero. And that should be relatively easy to do. Um, let's just learn about a new um, controller. So unlock your patcher, go up to the top here and find the little icon of buttons and then click on it and we get all the different buttons and so let's take a look at a text button just drag it right on out there on your window wherever you want it and you'll notice it says button um, and if you don't like the way it well we can deal with that later liking the way it looks but um, Get the button down there and then click on it so that it's highlighted and has the squares around it so that we know it's going to show up in the inspector here. Because what we want to do is right now it is a button. But I'm not sure that we really want a button so much. We want to come down here to mode. And I can't zoom on this computer. I'm sorry or I would. Go way down here and it says mode. And then you'll see it says button. And we're going to change that to toggle. Okay, pretty simple. And then you'll notice right below that it says text off and text on label. And so um, let's just put in there, um, we'll put in there the same word and see if we can make any sense of this. We'll just, uh, I'm going to do it with caps lock and just put tremolo. And I'm going to put the same thing in the next one down. Tremolo. And um, I also, um, if you go down two more things, it says output mode and it's on mouse up. I like things to, as soon as I click on them to change, so I'm going to change it to mouse down, which means it'll change as soon as the mouse goes down. So that's how I like my buttons to work. And then we can come back to this and let's just uh, put a message box right below it here and from the very left outlet click into the right inlet of the message box and let's just uh, lock our patcher and see what it does that tremolo does when it outputs so click on it and you see tremolo lights up and a one comes out then click on it again and tremolo is dimmed and a zero comes out well that is just about perfect for our needs because if we want to turn tremolo off, we want a zero. And if we want to turn it on, we just need to um, have a 127, a one 127. So when it's on, one, which we need to change to a 127, and when it's off, zero. Now, it occurs to me there's two ways we could do this. Um, the typical way that we would do this in Max is we'd use the select feature 
type n select ugh, I got the caps lock by accident there s e l e c t okay and what what are we going to get out of there a zero space one okay and so if it selects a zero it's going to bang on this one and if it gets a one it's going to bang on this one um and really the simple thing we can do is just connect to this one if it gets a zero we're going to bang that message and cause it to turn off and if it takes this one we're going to bang this other message over here and make it turn on it's really that simple so let's just see if it works we'll get rid of this uh, extra message over here okay lock your patcher take a uh play a note Oh, there we go. Do we have tremolo? We do. Is it off? It's off. Nice. So now we can select our church organ, turn the tremolo on, and that is the stuff that horror movies are made of. <laughs> okay, now you know how to do... Um, the selecting of tremolo, a uh, very simple one, and uh, control that effect. So you've got a new button to use. All right, I'll be back in the next tutorial to talk about pitch bend. I will see you then. Thank you.